it starts to feel like molasses, mm. you know, like mm. it's, it, it, it kind of switches into this very sticky place. Yeah. Hey there, welcome back to Amy TV. You may remember just recently I told you I was starting something new, and that is a podcast I'm going to be launching in just a couple of weeks. What you just saw is a clip from one of those chats, which I'm going to dig into in just a second, but first I have to thank Squarespace for making this all possible. They are sponsoring this episode, and if not for them, I would not have been able to fly to LA and talk to super cool people for this, so thank you. If you didn't recognize her, that clip that you saw was from a chat that I had with TV and movie actress Leah Pipes, who you may have seen in movies like Sorority Row. Why can't you understand Ellie? that? There are 30 other girls behind that door that probably shouldn't know we murdered our sorority sister, okay? Or shows like the originals. You need to get out of here. Run. Just run. She was so kind to welcome me into her home and tell me about how she became a viewer of this YouTube channel looking for motivation and productivity content. Yes, you heard that right. Even those people who have found success and are very, very good and passionate at what they do still have their down days, still go through things like depression. And so that's what I'm so excited to share with you today is what Leah has found in her time through her life and in her career of dealing dealing with these mindset challenges and what she does to try to combat them when she feels them coming on. Before I share a little bit of this chat with you, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Not only do I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, but this podcast is coming very, very soon and I'm going to be updating you here and also on my Instagram if you want to follow over there about when we are launched so you can find out how to subscribe. All right, so let's pop back in time to when I was in Leah's living room sitting down recording this podcast. We were sitting on her lovely chairs. She ordered Prosecco for us. It was like we were meant to be best friends. And yet I can't believe I'm saying these words. So what is life at the moment? Not really sure. If you know what it feels like to not be at your best and to feel like it's only getting worse, and I know you know this feeling because we have all felt this in the past. This is the part of the chat where Leah talks about what that feels like to her and when she starts to feel like she is going into a depression or a little bit of a depression and what she does personally to commit Combat that when it's happening. It's um, it's not me decompressing mm. or readjusting. Mm -hmm. It's me saying it's mindset. It's starting to become. It's it starts to feel like molasses. Mm. You know, like mm. it's it's pulling like the yeah. It's pulling me. It's dragging That's me down. That's a good word for that too, because it really just gives you the picture. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to I'm decompressing. Yeah. I'm taking time to like rest mm -hmm. and I'm also readjusting to it was go, go, go. And now it's not, mm -hmm. which makes me a little sad. It's, it, it, it kind of switches into this very sticky place yeah. that, and I have been, I've been diagnosed with depression in the past and put on medication for it briefly. Um, and the medication sort of, and I, as I was on the medication, I had a great therapist who taught me skills to, unstick yourself literally mm -hmm. and um so i try to use those skills but this it's an interesting thing like how um how that stickiness of depression works because it's so um nuanced it's such like it's all these catch 22s of like i need to unstick myself but it's so sticky that i can't it's you know it's like um when you have glue on your hand mm -hmm. if, and you're trying to get the glue off and then it's or like a piece of paper off and it sticks to your other hand mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's you have to like literally say no I'm gonna take some soap and water mm -hmm. and, and work on it and wash this off mm -hmm. yeah yeah that sounds really really hard I mean like have you found any way to work on it? Like what is your soap and water when this is happening and you know it's happening to you? And if you don't do something about it, it's going to be stuck there for a lot longer. Jogging. Really? Jogging. Getting outside. Yeah. I mean, if you're not a jogger, for me, I jog. And that's always, that's always been, that's literally for my sanity. It's mm -hmm. not for like any sort of vanity reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, that other things I do for vanity reasons, but jogging, it's literally... <laughs> we can get into those too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, but also walking. I literally think like get 
outside. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you look like. I also think there's something about it that for me, at least, it's also really connected to perfectionism. Mm. Like I don't, I don't feel perfect enough to like show myself or like be in the world. I have to have this like image of perfection, um, which on set is like this great thing where I let go of any sort of like vanity or ego because I don't, this isn't me. It's a totally different person that mm. I'm portraying. Mm -hmm. And so I don't have, I'm not portraying myself, but when I have to portray myself in the world, I feel this huge pressure for yeah. a perfect sort of presentation. Um, and I'm not perfect at all. And so I feel like I can't go outside until I can like be perfect yeah. um, or live up to the standards, these impossible standards I have for myself. And, and social media doesn't help because you're like looking at everyone else who looks so perfect and you're like, well, I can't go out there. Like, mm. look at everyone. <laughs> um, but then you remember, get outside and you look around mm -hmm. and you look around at nature and you look around at the, in the world, you start, re you start remembering because there's something about also about isolating yourself where you become the center of the world, mm -hmm. you know, like you're your view is so um, narrow. It, it, and if you can just go outside and widen your view just like a little bit, mm -hmm. then you have space to start climbing out of the hole and mm -hmm. start unsticking yourself. Yeah. I'll, I'll have these moments of like getting through the haze yeah. of like being, a, you know, just a total, just wallowing in like my own bad choices. And it feels really good. Thank you so much, Leah, for sitting down with me and having this chat. She was not only generous with her time and her home, she was generous with you. I know that this is really difficult for a lot of people to talk about, and I'm sure that it is for her as well, but she wanted to share this with you so that you can start to think about the fact that you're not alone and that we all have to work on this every day. In some way, we all have to work on this. By the way, I will leave a link to Leah's socials in the description below so that you can go and personally thank her for being on my show and the podcast and all that fun stuff because I know she would love to hear from you. I'm so excited for you to hear the full interview on the podcast when it comes out. This will be episode one, so you won't have to wait very long, which is great. And I can't wait to start sharing the other interviews with you as well when they come out on the podcast. Just make sure you are stay tuned here on this channel so that you don't miss out when I tell you where to go and how to subscribe worth it, I promise. And once again, please help me thank Squarespace for making this possible. If not for them, I would not have been able to jump on a plane and get some amazing interviews for you. Squarespace is the resource to use to build a powerful and beautiful online platform. They have award-winning designer templates for you to easily build your website with an incredible intuitive tool that allows anyone to make a website without having a technical degree. Trust me, I don't have one and I never want to. There are so many options for you no matter what type of creative you are. You could be a musician, a designer, artist, restaurant, or so much more. Just head over to squarespace.com slash Amy Landino and you will get your free trial and 10% off your first purchase. I know that I'm trusting them with the podcast notes for the new show, so you should try them too. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers. Cheers.